is dry. Hopefully. Okay. Garrett, how much are you worrying when you see the BMW disaster here? Mandalika, Argentina, Barcelona, Portimao. I wouldn't describe it as maybe a disaster. <laughs> no? How would you describe it? <laughs> uh, learning opportunities. <laughs> Yeah, Brad here, uh, I'm usually behind the camera. We're back from summer break, and I figured I'd get the guys a little gift. I think it was Les that originally identified that Andy looks a lot like Wally. So uh, we're gonna prank Andy this morning. Basically, we're gonna have Garrett go in, pull him aside, and then I'm gonna give these to all the crew, and uh, we'll see how long it takes Andy to notice. We're, we're gonna give it a shot. Bro, you are diabolical. <laughs> like, we can't leave you alone anymore. He's gonna hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Wires wall though. What? And it hasn't worked too well. Um, why is everyone in one? It's a new <laughs> Balance. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a second. Is that you? That You're looks just right. like you, bro. That looks just like you. Right, that's so crazy. Should the guy? Yeah, yeah that's, that's you. No, that no, looks just not. like you. Bro. We need to You've side by made. side. You've no. had that made. Dude, all, did, all uh, Brad did was change the hair color and the Yeah, so you've changed the hair color. No, no, but it, that's you, bro. That's it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Here, I got one for you too. Yeah. <laughs> you spent your money and. I was saying it to say. <laughs> hey, I just want to make it clear. This yeah, wasn't man. this wasn't me. That was, was him. It was hundred percent me. It was all him. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna sell it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> It's the first time I think that I've been here that it's like hot enough that I can take my shirt off. I think every time that we've been here the last two or three years has been freezing cold and raining. I remember the first year that, that I was here with this guy, every single day, full rain. You were running P3 until you crashed this K. I did crash also, but I, hey, I was not P3. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, everywhere. I, I think I need to use the rear more, like on the entry, a lot more. Definitely. Cause I'm, just, I think I'm, especially when it's hot, I'm too much on the front, <laughs> using the front too much. But, but what I was gonna say is, if you get everything right, and possibly you might gain a little bit, but if you get it slightly wrong, it's dead easy. You've got those open. Where if you're here, and you you get it slightly wrong, it's gonna be no one's gonna be there. So what are you trying to say? Stay tired? Or stay I'd or? try. I'd try to stay tight. Yeah. That's in the no, rain. It's different. Cause no. like yeah, you want to stand the bike up, and but in the in the dry, you can actually kind of run around. At least Bautista, who won last year, was going out to that paint.
two tenths, Bradley. At least. That was really nice. How many laps on that guy? 14 when you start. So far, yeah, wrong, we've had a, wrong answers only, bro. We've had a fantastic weekend, so now we just need to put it together in a Super Bowl. Garrett, since I was the last American to get pole position since you, I just want to say congratulations on your first pole position, buddy. I'm rooting for you. That's the rule. That's the rule, then. You know how she looks at it yet? Oh. Yeah, now you can walk up and say, oi, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See how it goes? Where are we next? Nah, one and done. One and done. We've got four rounds left. We've got four watches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one for each member of the squad, dude. <laughs> All right, here we are, end of the weekend. Pretty happy in the end. So, I mean, first pole position. We're pumped about that. And uh, two top fives in the long races. like. I don't know, I don't think we could ask for a whole lot more, could we, Les? Nah. Maybe a podium. Good, good, good job done. He rode well. All the team did a fantastic job. Yeah, no, the bike's feeling freaking super good. So props to these guys for helping uh, helping that, me do my job that's better. That's a man, that's a man, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm annoyed a little bit with the Super Bowl race. Uh, Scott and I, like, made contact and I freaking crashed, but... It's um, it's one of those things like Scott knocked him off. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things. I've made my, I've made my mistakes and stuff, and so, you know, uh, I can't be too mad. I'm just happy that we were able to bounce back in the in the second race, and yeah, man. So anyway, a uh, couple weeks to recoup, and uh, yeah, I think in the meantime, oh, oh, I think in the meantime, I might have to give a call to my buddy George at Moto California for oh. a little getaway, maybe. I don't know. What do you think, other Garrett? <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Being at the track is nice and all, but you know what I really need? A luxury motorcycle tour from Moto California. Moto California has two locations, one in Los Angeles, California, and Florence, Italy. One of my favorite things about Moto California has to be that you unpack your bag one time. There's nothing worse than going to all these different locations, having to pack, unpack, all the whole time. Basically, you go to your luxury villa, unpack everything, and then you're free to go explore all the amazing roads around Los Angeles or Florence, Italy, whatever you choose. Everything is included. Your luxury villa that you stay at, your private chef with all the food that 
your heart desires, the gas, your motorcycle insurance, uh, car service, really it's all inclusive. If you guys want more information about Moto California, I encourage you guys to check out the website, motocalifornia.com for more information.